Now, the hardest thing about this question is you're not able to draw on the picture like I'm about to. On the real blue book test, you're gonna have the ability to cross out answer choices, but you're not gonna be able to draw on the picture itself. You will have scrap paper though, so I recommend if you need to, draw this exact same picture as best you can and then basically just follow the instructions, right? Because the, the, whether the picture is to scale or not doesn't really matter. I mean, it says it's not trying to scale, so your picture doesn't need to be great. We just need to follow what the question is saying. So let's start with this first piece of information. AC is equal to CD. So I'm just gonna highlight them. CD is here, and then AC is here. So it kind of looks equivalent in the picture, so that's pretty good. So those are the same. And the measure of angle EBC, EBC is this guy right here, is 45. And the measure of angle ACD, so ACD is right here, that's 104. What is the value of X? So uh, there's a couple of ways to go about this. And a general rule of thumb is if you've got angle questions, you can't really go wrong just putting stuff on the picture. So um, here's what I think is the most efficient way. This triangle that I've got these yellows in, that is an isosceles triangle because now these two sides are the same, meaning then that the two angles opposite those sides are the same as well. So we, we have 180 degrees in every triangle. This triangle ACD uh, has 104 already accounted for by the top angle. So let's get rid of those 104. So 10, uh, 180 uh, minus 104 is 76. So that's 76 degrees, but that 76 is split evenly between the two base angles. So why don't we just divide that by two, and that's gonna give us the amount for each kind of base angle. So 76 divided by two is 38. So these are each 38. Now we're getting closer to that X, but in order to get it, we, we need either um, this top angle here, because then we can use the little triangle to get that, and, and there's a way to do that, or we can use this angle here, which is supplementary to X. So I'm gonna actually use that because I see that if I think about this kind of like lopsided triangle, I have two of the angles. I have one here on 38, I have one here at 45. So that means I know by, again, subtraction that I can get that last one. So 180 minus the 45 minus the 38, whatever's left over is that angle by E there. So let's just do that. 180 minus 45 minus 38 is 97. Now, 97 is on a line. It's a straight angle with X, the thing we want. I know I've buried it in all this drawing, but basically the last step here is just to recognize that these two angles together are gonna be 180. So we can do another 180 minus the 97, that is 83, and that is the final answer for X. This is a lot. There's a lot of uh, movement around the shape. Um, and like I said, th this is not the only way to get this. We could have gone um, from 104 to, to here and then use that with the 45 to get this one and then that would have put us in here. But basically, no matter what, you're gonna need to think about that isosceles triangle. And if you got stuck on this question, I bet it was because you forgot about that isosceles triangle. Either you forgot the rule or you just kind of forgot that they told you that uh, CD and CA are equal. And um, a good rule of thumb on the geometry questions in general is that they very rarely give you information that you don't use. So if you're going through it, you wanna treat the question like a checklist. Every piece of information, you're probably gonna need it to solve the question. So if you are, are kind of going through and you get stuck, it's probably because you're like, huh, I haven't used this fact yet. I haven't gotten anything out of it. So that's a good way to kind of maybe get unstuck is just be like, what haven't I used? Odds are good, that's the thing you need in order to move forward in a question. Um, but yeah, this is, this is annoying. At least it let us re uh, review a couple of um, angle equations that we need. The uh, fact that there are 180 degrees in a triangle is given to you in the reference chart, but the fact that there are 180 degrees on a straight line is not given to you. Supplementary angles you're expected to know. So any straight line always adds up to 180 degrees. That will come up at some point on a geometry question at, at, on some test that you take. So make sure you memorize that.